I know I got rights. I've been talking to the people. I've been talking to the white people about it. Don't worry. Do not worry about it at all. So if they deny me, then we'll take the next step. And whoever needs to see what this process is like, you will be able to figure out how to do it for yourself because I'm going to share all of the process and the paperwork. Salute guys and welcome to class. Today on the Nosy Ninja News Network, where we learn how not to be a dummy from some expensive dummies, we got Blueface Mother who threatens to sue Krishan Rock for ch grandchild access. And this is that parental alienation, right? You see how modern woman or modern woman, you know what I mean? Because remember guys, over here we know that mothers control the access of these children. So if they wanted these children to have fathers and, 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 and other parents and other guardians, they would have them. But it belongs to the parents. So she gonna get a little taste of what us fathers go through, guys. But let's let's get through, let's get to this article. Blueface mother Carlisa says she will sue if she doesn't get access to her grandchild. Carlisa Saffold, the mother of rapper Blueface, is threatening legal action against Christian Rock if she doesn't have access to her newest grandson. Saffold on Tuesday claimed that she has sought legal representation to see what her rights are as a grandparent in, re in relation to an unnamed grandchild, which many deem to be Krishan Rock's child. It's first time that Saffold seems separate to be a grandmother and want to be a part of Krishan Jr.'s life. Now, this is what I tell you guys. If you do not raise your child, you will not get to spoil your grandchild. Uh -uh. You will end up raising your grandchild. And why do you want so much access to this girl's child? Well, you and the girl don't get along. You don't. You didn't raise your child right. So what? What do you have for this girl and her child, other than you getting clout? Come on now. Sappho on Tuesday claimed that she has sought legal representation to see what. Her rights are as a grandparent in relation to an unnamed grandchild, which many deem to be Krishan Rock's child. It's the first time that Saffold seemed desperate to be a grandmother and wants to be a part of Krishan Jr.'s life. The baby was born more than two months ago, but the drama between Rock and Blueface has been un ending as they fight over paternity of the child his absence at the birth and even his presence in the child's life now sappho believes she has some kind of legal right and says she has spoken to lawyers about it she do have legal right guys she have more legal right at this moment than blueface who got caught doing dumb shit with you know what i mean so he he has to report himself as 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 a, a child neglect. Remember, he got an ACS case on him because he had the stripper. He had the video with the with the kid and, the, and with the strippers and stupid shit, guys. So he ain't got no rights. His mother got more rights than him. I know I got rights. I've been talking to the white people about it. You see how they know they know they know what they be doing, guys. Don't worry about it at all, she told fans in an Instagram video posted on Monday. If they deny me, we'll take the next step and whoever needs to see what this process is like, you will be able to figure it out for yourself because I'm gonna share all the process and paperwork, she said, adding, so you can go back and tell them mother efforts, the mama is coming. And this is all in an attention clout, guys. She ain't got nothing for that baby. You know what I mean? She ain't have nothing for Blueface, like I said. She just wants to piss Krishan Rock off. See how they use these kids for property. These kids are property, guys, and means for attention for them. 
You know what I mean? These women don't sacrifice for the family. They sacrifice the family for their feelings, guys. Peep game. This is what's going on. This is a battle between two modern women right now. You got old dummy versus new dummy. She also seemed to send shots at Krishan Rock, whose child is the only one she hasn't met. You go and tell them mother effers, I don't bend over backwards and raise my mother effing kids to be denied my bloodline. You go tell them elder effers the all right, you know what, guys? I ain't got to keep reading this. This is what they do on these little channels where they just read off from the script. I have you guys hear it for yourself, guys. All right, let's let's get straight to the video so you can hear it from the horse's mouth. I know I got rights. I've been talking to the people. I've been talking to the white people about it. Don't worry. Do not worry about it at all. So if they deny me, then we'll take the next step. And whoever needs to see what this process is like, you will be able to figure out how to do it for yourself because I'm going to share all of the process and the paperwork. And I'm still tripping over the, the, uh, the white people shit that she said. See, this is why I don't let no sister of mine try to play with me with this racism shit. It's not going to happen with me. I, this is why I'm not going to ever look over there. You know what I mean? When I focus in on the black community affairs and the issues we have in the black community, I don't want to hear about what the other races of people is doing. That is not getting us nowhere. When I have seen for years our sisters run to that exact same race that they want me to say, look over there at. Mm -mm, we not playing that game. So you can tell, go back and tell them mother the mama is coming, okay? You go back and tell them I didn't bend over backwards and raise my kids to be denied my bloodline. You go tell them mother the mama coming. That's what you go tell them. And don't tell me I ain't sincere because I got kicked in my mother head about mine. Tell me what you did about yours. I got kicked in my head about my kids. Ain't an unsincere bone in my motherfucking body. Now, sis, that's what you're going to sit here and tell yourself? Ma'am, you got kicked in your head because you don't know how to act like a mother. You don't know how to go sit the fuck down somewhere, sis. And like you doing right now, starting trouble, that's why you got kicked in your head. And if you go pull up at that girl house, you likable to get kicked in your head again. How about that? Ain't none of you grandmamas got kicked in your head for your I got kicked in my head. We riding this for the wheels for all the Okay, like she said, I know what the I'm doing. Do you know what the you doing? How she could sit up here and clearly look you in the face and say because she know what she doing when she haven't made a great choice and nothing but poor decisions her whole life is beyond me, bro. This lady is delusional. She is totally entertaining, though, yo. Pull up at my grandbaby's doorstep. Bree got the address. And we're going to see what it do. We're going to see what she want to do. We're going shopping for him today to get some little gifts. I'm pulling up on all my grandbaby doors. Then I'm going to go pull up on Jaden's door and get my grandkids. Because the people said you got to get denied before you can. <laughs> you got to get denied before you um, apply to visit to get grandparents right. So I have to go and actually get denied, which I'm going to do obviously on camera on my show. You see this nigger culture? Everything for clout. Everything for clout on my show. Meanwhile, you got Jeezy moving in private, moving in silence, and they trying to shame him for moving in silence. Everything he's doing is under underhanded or malicious. And no, everybody not comfortable with putting a business in the public. Like I said, you go pull up on that girl house. I bet you you ain't going by yourself. I bet you you ain't gonna go pull up on that girl house by yourself. Not, not get denied. Hopefully they just let the kids come out and sit in the you know front yard with me. I'll do front yard <laughs> visits. <laughs> I'll do front yard visits, but um, cause I'm tired of y'all talking about you won't see your go see your grandkids. So when I pull up and then however it go, y'all gonna know. So if they don't let me see them, I don't want to hear y'all say no more. 
that I don't care about all my grandkids. Y'all saw me with my grandkids happy, happily all summer. Almost 18 million people on this live right now. I, I don't want to hear nothing about y'all ain't got no 599 neither. It's a perfect example of how women emotions be having to make moves for acceptance. Remember I told you they'd rather be liked than successful. That's what she doing right now. She don't have nothing for that kid. She, any real mother, any real grandparent will tell you, yo, well, that's that girl kid. You can't make her do nothing with that girl kid. So a, a, a grandparent that's itching and edging to try to force themselves on another female's baby is, is, the, is emotionally disturbed, bro. That's a narcissistic trait right there, sis. Please sit down. Cause you, was, you already know you ain't about to see what happened. Cause my people do not believe in screen recording out my show and giving it to y'all. Cause they do not want me to sue them. I got two bodyguards. I don't think I'll need them. I think everybody is in a reasonable mindset and everybody respects that I am the children's grandmother. And I've been a great, awesome grandma all the way up until y'all got involved. So ain't no reason for nobody to act stupid. So, all right, I'm going to get off of here because it's starting to be too many people, 19 million people on this live, and that's just too many people because they be screen recording and sending my shit all over the place, catching me saying the wrong damn thing per usual. See, she even knows she's stupid, yo. But that attention is one hell of a drug. So it'll have her keep getting on lives and keep talking and keep making herself look like the asshole that she truly is, guys. She's not acting, bro. But again, like I said, my mom's man shit. My mom's couldn't wait till my baby mother get fancy or get fly with her. You know what I mean? Shit. Tell you real quick. That's that girl baby. Shit. Ain't no real, no real, no real mother gonna try to take hold of another kid's baby. Another person, baby. That shit retarded, yo. Yeah. Y'all wrap up, strap up, drink responsibly, do not play with your life, and we will proceed. We're going to follow up on this.